composers. And in today's video lesson, we're going to learn all about horn posture. This is going to correspond with lesson number six in the pre-method book. So uh, let's get into it. Now, before we learn how to hold the horn, it's important that we learn how to sit correctly. And learning how to sit correctly is very important because uh, whenever you're playing a brass instrument or a woodwind instrument or you're singing, you need to sit in a certain way so that your lungs can fully expand and so that you have a free range of motion with your body to do what your body needs to do to operate its instrument. So what, what you're gonna wanna do to sit correctly is you have to put both your feet flat on the floor. You have to scoot up on the front part of your chair and you have to sit up as tall as you can. Okay, the first thing we're gonna talk about uh, when it comes to holding the horn is we're gonna talk about where our left hand goes. So our left hand is gonna be what operates the valves and our pointer finger is gonna go on the first valve, which is gonna be the one closest to the mouthpiece. Our middle finger is gonna go on the second valve and our third finger, our ring finger is gonna go on the third valve. So first valve, second valve, third valve. Your pinky is gonna go in the pinky ring right here uh, if you have a double horn, you're going to have a thumb trigger that your thumb's going to operate. If you don't have a double horn, there should be a ring there for your thumb to go, and th that's where your thumb will go. Okay, so one more time, left hand, pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky, and thumb on the trigger or on the ring. Okay, so now once we've done that, we're going to learn about what our right hand does. Our right hand is eventually going to go actually inside the bell, but it's important that we learn how the shape of our right hand because where you put it in the bell and how your shape is, is going to affect the sound. So what, what I like to start is with the right hand, it's like I'm holding a cup of water, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that cup of water to the side and then what I'm going to do is that my right hand is going to go inside the bell, but it's going to go right about to where my second knuckle is. So here's my first knuckle, here's my second knuckle. It's gonna go right about to where the second knuckle is. Now my hand's just gonna stay right there in that spot. Okay, so one more time, the right hand, hold a cup of water, dump it out, place it in the horn, and right about to where that second knuckle is, and then that's where your right hand is gonna go. So now that we have our right hand and our left hand set, we're gonna place the horn on our right leg, and it's going to be a little bit right before the knee. And then we want to find a spot that's comfortable so the mouthpiece can come to our face. So this is going to be too far, and this is going to be too close, but you want to just have it to be comfortable so that you can still be sitting up. Okay, and it's important that you practice uh, your posture every single day because having good posture is uh, extremely important to being able to uh, learn how to play this instrument.